the oldest Belize City resident, just got one year older. Leonora Patnit turned 108 today, a birthday that not many get to see. And to celebrate, she got a visit from the Prime Minister, John Briseño, and the Mayor of Belize City, Bernard Wagner. The PM explained how he first met Mrs. Leonora. What happened is that when we were campaigning um, for the city council elections, um, we stopped right outside there and she was looking through the window. And then the family was telling me that, you know, she's well, at that time 107 years, I think 106. And then I promised that I was going to come and visit her for, for her birthday, which is um, um, today. Um, the mayor then reminded me last week, he said, remember the little lady when we promised her and come visit her? I said, yes. He said, well, you know, she's going to be 108. Little did I remember that she was going to be 108. It's certainly a blessing that um, she could live to see 108 years in, on, this, on this earth. And um, one with a presence of mind that she can still talk. She spoke to me in Spanish also because she said she's originally from, um, from San Ignacio. There's so many sad stories. There's so many sad stories in Belize where you see that we abandoned, we abandoned our old folks, you know, when we're supposed to be looking after them, taking care of them, as opposed to just abandoning them. So this is a good example of what love, attention and caring can do for elderly, giving them a life of love, attention and dignity. The mayor added that elderly residents like Mrs. Leonora are like walking history books about Belize. Not many people live to see 108 years and uh, my, um, regrettably my mother died at the age of 76 and my mom named Mrs. Leonora Patnit as well. So you could see how I feel. I am uh, very attached to, to this family here. Um, and so we, we felt compelled as a city to, to recognize um, um, her birthday and, and do something for her. This lady went through um, Hati, the, the, one of the worst hurricanes that ever hit Belize. And she was telling us a story up there that it is, was in this house that she weathered um, Hati, Hati. And so um, having these elderly people in our society, not only Miss Patnet, Mrs. Patnet, but Whenever you have people that are elderly, we must learn to appreciate and appreciate the history and the knowledge they contribute and the experience they contribute. And Mrs. Leonora had some sage words of advice if you want to live as long as she has. Well, I feel very I feel glad and I thank God that he blessed me for see the day. I know people ask you what's the tip for living so long, so what can you tell our viewers? You have to live good, a good life, good life that you know they had around. You can go sleep to time. You not drink, you not smoke, like some. Well, some people, no, some, and um, they not drink, they not smoke, and by that you know you keep good health. How do you feel giving a visit by the mayor and the prime minister and they brought you gifts? I'm very, very glad. Uh, it's the first time I meet with the prime minister, the mayor. And the first time I meet them close to talk to. And knowing Mrs. Leonora as long as we have, we expect that she'll be right here next year waiting for her special guests. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.